While winter temperatures drop, the campaign to win the hearts and minds of voters in Iowa heats up. I love uh, the caucus season in Iowa. Daryl Morif was among hundreds who lined up in the cold to see South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg speak at a local college. Buttigieg has polled strongly among presidential contenders in Iowa. While Washington focuses on the impeachment of President Donald Trump, Morf says there are other issues on his mind. How we are going to uh, maintain uh, security in the, in the world. I think people worry a lot about climate uh, here in Iowa. Morf says Iowans want candidates to address issues that matter to them. I think Iowans are very intentional and uh, listen carefully to what candidates are actually saying and measure it uh, in terms of how uh, we think they'll play in terms of actually being president. Uh, so far, Morf hasn't made up his mind on who he thinks is best suited for the job. We're in the middle of a fantastic swing through Iowa. I would are. probably lean toward Buttigieg right now, but I, Biden is certainly someone I would continue to look at, uh, like Amy Klobuchar. With just weeks left before Iowans decide, candidates are running out of time to win over voters. That's where you start to see the race, some of the people going up, some people going down. Maybe we'll see a few people dropping out or at least not participating in Iowa. So it's, it's getting interesting. Political science professor Timothy Hagel expects a higher turnout among Democratic caucus goers compared to Republicans, given that the Democratic presidential race is wide open, while the Republican nominee is all but a foregone conclusion. Their turnout is probably going to be way down, higher than it would be in a midterm for them, but still down for a presidential year. Whereas for the Democrats, and especially given we have a fairly competitive race here in Iowa with, again, the way the, that we're seeing this volatility in terms of the polls and who seems to be ahead and all of that, that that's going to spur turnout, and particularly the extent that Democrats can get other people excited about the possibility of unseating Trump. I supported Joe Biden from the beginning. I see him as the best alternative with the most experience. William Clayton traveled from Wisconsin to Dubuque, Iowa to attend a campaign event with former Vice President Joe Biden. He wants someone who will beat President Trump in his rural district. Some of them are right behind him no matter what, and, and there's others that don't like him at all. Daryl Morf says he worries progressive contenders like Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren or Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders may not be electable when the entire nation votes in November. There are an awful lot of people who are in the middle and they're gonna look at uh, this and uh, make their decision based upon uh, whether candidates are too extreme. Sanders recently dismissed such concerns. And the agenda that we are fighting for, despite what some of my critics may say, is really not a radical agenda. It's what the American people want. Democratic candidates have until February 3rd to make their case to voters across Iowa. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Cedar Rapids, Iowa.